Good day everyone, Loki here once again with another video and today I'm gonna make a little first look video for Dead Frontier on online top-down shooter um, created and I think published as well by Creaky Corpse Limited is that limited? I'm not sure anyway um, I'm gonna click on play now and create quickly create an account um, let me think of a name double M I will probably just fill in some random stuff which I have laying around because I all have I have already used a lot of my email addresses for other accounts so okay okay the first thing that we are gonna do is uh, is create our survivor so I'm gonna call him Halvercom uh, you can choose between male and female there isn't really a lot of customization but that it really doesn't matter because you look down uh, from the top so you don't have to really worry about how your face looks this only matters for the forums where they can see your face so yeah it it isn't really a big deal he should have a goatee though. Uh, the professions are kind of a big deal because right now as you can see I'm a doctor and uh, that means that I can administer complex medical treatments which means basically healing items um, will be more uh, yeah I can use healing items better than other people and I can also uh, sell my services to other people and that, that will cost money for them so I will earn money with that while I'm offline but it will cost me food though so I have to get a lot of food to be able to sell my services and no not that kind of services there anyway then you also have the farmer which you then you get daily one kind of a food and you also start with a rifle uh, well that's just and you have a couple of classes which just start you with a little stat bonus or experience bonus um, I'm just trying to search for, well the police officer is the one I like because you get a lot of extra skill in shotgun and pistol and accuracy. Uh, soldier totally isn't worth it because 20% experience penalty is a lot, even if you get these skills. Uh, yeah, uh, here. The engineer, he can repair your, your armor or he will. Rep you can repair armor with him. Um, this is very important and uh, these can sell their services as well um, oh I accidentally right clicked and then you have the chef which basically um, uh, c can prepare the food or cook the food that the farmer gets and you can also find all the kinds of food inside the city so I'm probably gonna be a yeah let's make a uh, engineer for once I've never played an engineer it doesn't it doesn't affect the gameplay but it's an, it's just a bonus as that matter I often take one which either has a lot of nice bonuses or, or um, starts with extra experience with experience bonus because those experience bonuses last forever so they were fairly important Oh, the outpost is actually under attack, which will be a nice show. That means that a lot of zombies are attacking this uh, this outpost right now. Uh, that's just an ad you get if you're not a gold member, which isn't really that important, other than the little pop-ups you get like once or twice a day. Um, so yeah, you start with a pistol with 150 rounds. You can buy more rounds inside the marketplace, which is over here, which is basically your auction. Um, but I'm probably not gonna bother with that. The first thing that you want to do, by the way, when you start a game, is go to your bank because um, you have eighty dollars and you will lose all your cash you are carrying when you die. So, yeah, let's drop that inside the bank and let's go back to the outpost and be right back. Okay, so I'm back. It's loaded, as you can see. 
I just looked at my mobile phone, mobile phone, because I thought I had got an SMS, but I actually got a missed call from myself. How that happens, I do not know. Anyway, I'm gonna turn down the volume. So. You can also play this full screen, by the way. I'm just not doing it right now because if I go full screen, I don't really know if the recording devices will work because this game doesn't really like fraps. So yeah, you can also play single player mode mo if you have a shitty connection, so don't worry about that. Sound volume, there we go. Um, the soaring pistol isn't really anything important, you can just shoot with it, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, if you couldn't shoot with a pistol, that would kinda suck. <laughs> Anyway, we are right now in the inner city. These are other players. These are the zombies, as you can see. Oh, I have to reload. Oh, shit. And the zombies are basically like in uh, Left 4 Dead. You have all these common zombies, which are just all these starting area zombies, as I'm killing right now. But at the higher threat level zombies, which are uh, further to the east in the city, because the city is built into threat levels, starting in green zones in the left or the west area, building all the way up to red areas, and these are in the east. And the further you get to the east, uh, starting in, I think, the yellow zone, you get special special zombies. If you ever play Left 4 Dead, uh, you should be fairly familiar with special zombies. Um, they aren't exactly the same, but you will have uh, some spitting zombies, uh, which will ha which so will ranged attack. You have a zombie with a giant sword arm, and I actually got hit just by somebody. Uh, you have a you have a zombie with a giant sword arm, which is extremely annoying on my higher level character because I'm specialized in melee, which isn't really that good if you have an enemy who can slash you from a mile away. Um, you have oh I can I can search this if you find something that's yellow um, you can search the uh, you can search for this example the but holy shit I'm gonna get raped right here um, <laughs> you can search the bush the bus by holding F but I'm not gonna be able to do it because all these zombies are running behind me and I'm uh, actually fairly significantly significantly damaged so. I might want to go back to the um, to the outpost because I just leveled up, as you can see in the top left. Which I think it would be nice if they had had an animation for it, but it's it gone yellow, which means and it's 100%. Uh, which means I le I have leveled up, and if I now return to the outpost, I will regain all my health, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it. If I die though, I will lose 50% of the experience I earned. Since the last time I left um, the last outpost, which in this case wouldn't really be that mu much experience, but percentage-wise, 50% is a lot of experience. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get back. Anyway, you have all these special zombies with the sword arm, with the spither, you have a, a kind of a boomer, it explodes, which also is a hell if you are melee specialized. Um, and you have burning zombies, which have a hell of a lot of health. These zombies, by the way, are will loot, will drop loot, which you then can loot, of course. Um, so yeah, you gotta love the loot seas. All you really want to do in Death Frontier is well, oh, I actually got a quest and I leveled up. All you want to do in Death Frontier, um, especially if you like loot seas, and that's the only reason why you should ever want to play this game. Um, it's just go around and search for the loot because it's awesome. I'm gonna specialize this character in pistols for once and I'm gonna turn up my agility because then I'm faster. All these stats have their own uh, thing they affect. You should probably look it up on their wiki which is e easily findable at the top of your screen if you're logged in. Just here, wiki. And we'll go immediately, immediately to their wiki. So that's good. I'm going back to the inner city because now I'm healthy again. So yeah, it's it's a really fun game. Um, I suggest you would play it with friends though because yeah, it's it's really supposed to be played with friends. Um, you can play it on your own, and most people suggest that if you go on a looting run, um, which basically means that you are going melee only without carrying. Uh, 
uh, without making a lot of no noise because if I'm right these zombies are blind they can only hear so if you don't make any noises they will just not if not uh, detect you so if I'm right I should be able to just walk past zombies if I really want to and they will just go on searching but the thing that they su that they suggest you do is turn on single player mode in that case because as you could just see online people aren't the smartest one and will just shoot around randomly which also is a lot of fun shooting is probably the quicker way to level up it's a lot less e uh, economical though because um yeah each bullet costs uh, costs a little bit of money in the game um like in-game money as you can oh i do not actually have any money with me because i just deposited it in the bank but um yeah, for example, like 600 bullets will cost you around uh, a couple of hundred of dollars. Uh, which isn't really a lot, but in the starting area it is, so you will probably only get to shoot guns at a later stage in the game. Uh, unless you go submachine gun, which is when you go uh, going to use handgun bullets, so handgun bullets, handgun users will have the same thing. Uh, but with submachine guns you run out of ammo very damn quick. Uh, I used to use an uh, P90, but I just blew through all my ammo so damn quick. Um, but it doesn't cost a lot. You will just have uh, have to take a couple of stacks of ammo with you. Um, anyway, I don't know if I've already talked about the monetization. Uh, the monetization they do. Um, you can basically get any item within the game. You can just find it um, inside the inner city. So that's something that's really awesome. They, however, have something that's called a gold membership, um, which basically means that you will probably get each feature or each update that's gonna be released a week or two early. Like right now, you have interiors, which on this character I'm not able to go into because I'm not a gold member. Um, but on my other character, I I am, so I oh I found fifty fifty four dollars. On the on my other member, I can so I can go in there. You get double experience if I'm right, and you get a little a little higher chance, which never uh, which you don't know, I think. Um, a little higher chance to get better loot. But yeah, that's something you can't really see. So. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of, maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't, I'm not really sure, I, uh, I've never seen it work for me, I'm just unlucky in this game. Um, so yeah, that's the way, I think it's like $8 a month, and if you buy a couple of months uh, at once, it's of course cheaper. Uh, and you also have guns that are unique guns, they are just, um with a team so for example uh, during Halloween you have a corpse suit which you can buy or during uh, right now you have something that's called a corpse blaster I think and that's just a uh, teamed pistol so yeah um, as you can see I've just leveled up to up again so I'm gonna walk back anyway I, I think I will uh, I will end with my closing thoughts um, I think Death Frontier is a really damn fun game, especially when you play it with friends. Uh, the only downside, though, is that they will... That this I'm just being sidetracked again. They will delete your account after six months of inactivity, unless you've ever once been a gold member. So that's the main reason why I became a gold member, just so my account wouldn't, would never expire, and otherwise you would just have to log in once every six months, so it really isn't a big deal. But my friends always get it done to not log in for six months and then that get their accounts deleted, which I have given a couple of items, which aren't really cheap. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. But that's, that's on, that to the side. Um, it's a really fun game, fun game with friends, and um, I think you should play it. I think it really doesn't have a lot of players. Well, uh, it has around 1,500 or 2,000 uh, players online at once, 
which is nice for a little small starting game mode. I think it deserves a lot, a lot more, because it's really well made. Um, I I'm not sure, but I think only only one person is really creating the game. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. It it might be a handful. Um, but I, if I'm right, only one person is really working on the game, so that's why the updates aren't really coming that quick. But if they start earning some more money, they could um, potentially get an extra worker and, or well, get better stuff and uh, pump out updates quicker. So yeah, let's let's get more players into this game. <laughs> uh, I really like this game and I'm probably gonna post some more off of it probably from my somewhat higher leveled account I have two accounts one is in the 30s which I really stopped playing and one is in the I think it's level 15 right now and they're both me melee specialized with a shotgun on the side if I am in uh, dire need if one of those boomers or spitters come at, come at me so yeah Go and play this game, information will be in the description bar, and see you later guys.